Yeah, so here we go again. Um, a Sunday Planners Film Club. I'm here a bit early to do this. Hello. Um, I've had technical difficulties with session 92. So that is now unlisted. It's only available via the playlist. Solo therapy playlist. Um, not so great, but I'm still going to stick to this mic solution for now. Because it's hard to go back once one got better quality, I guess. Um, if technical difficulties keep occurring, I will have to go back to using an AirPod per mic. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. So, yeah. I'm here at Film Club early today. Um, the actors got their focus group. I am going to be spectating that, or I intend to at least. Um, looking forward to that, I guess. Tomorrow at work we've got a fuck ton to do, not so much for us, a lot for clients to do and a lot of um, making sure customers are happy. I apologise for all the background audio that it going on in the background at this time, I am parked near where we do film club, so background audio will happen. Mm. Friday I actually went, went and visited two friends. Uh, who at this time live in the same flat because I referred one to the other who was looking for a roommate so that worked out and then yesterday I had a total day in limbo didn't do squat yesterday like barely got up had a total of 13 smokes on yesterday's calendar day three of those driving back from the friends to my place in the early a.m. and a couple more in the early a.m. before I even left there so probably had about six smoke in yesterday's waking period which is very low but then again that's what you get when you don't even move that's what days in limbo are for then again i need days in limbo so might as well have them mm. i'm hoping that's going to reduce the noise just wound up the window a wee though this will make this more of a hot box I managed to have a shower today, which I'm really fairly happy about. Um, I am slightly concerned the soap I'm going to use is a bit expensive. But we'll find out, you know. Like, for now I can afford it, so I might as well try. Um, and I really like it. Like, I like the texture. Like, like, like. Um, I do think the texture is pleasant, the scent is pleasant. So I am going to stick to that for now. I think it's only meant as hand soap, but I am going to have to buy like some bulk sometime, just because for now I only got like half a hand thing. And I intend to buy like 12 litres or however many come in a carton. I'll reach out directly to the supplier, that way I might be able to get a discount if I buy a whole carton of stuff. Yesterday I also didn't drive, well, yesterday's waking period I did not drive. Obviously I did drive back home in the AM from my friend's place. That worked out. Um, today to come here I've actually bought my tea set to have some... What do I have currently? Mecha. Mecha. Um... So, which is like the rem remnants of the Gyokuru's, like the fine stuff that remain. But it's significantly cheaper and it tastes pretty similar. So, yay. I'm looking forward to sit down and have some tea. I had planned on doing that yesterday originally. Hadn't managed, obviously. I'm starting to grow concerned for managing deadlines with uni and so on. I just had a look and I need approximately 8 hours of non-stop writing, assuming 120 characters per minute. Um, considering the writing will not only be that, it will also be thinking. Um, that's like a few weeks non-stop work. Guess I'll be able to do some on the side while at work and on the rest will probably be weekends and evenings. Um, of uni is kind of just a disappointment because I'm not only doing my job as the client and student, I'm also doing a job making sure they do their jobs because otherwise they don't do them, which is a real bummer. Mm. 
I have had another person reach out to me, a fellow student. The crazy thing is, the timing is very sus. And the questions they asked me are also very sus, because, surprise, um, I, they should not know what they do. And uh, I'm sussed out by that. But I am going to play diplomatic, because I am assuming them to be telling the truth. There's no reason for them to be lying unless they are a spy for uni, who knows. Uh, uh, I'm still missing my grades. I've regained the access to my uni accounts. So I can now say with confidence I'm still missing my grades. Which is not something I'm happy to be able to say, but I am so mad able to say that is. drive here I only listened to one song which was Sonny Boy second um, Root Blues basically uh, Keep It To Yourself I believe it was um, non-stop listen to that on route it was a real chill drive because it is sunny AF out and the temperature out is 15 degrees centigrade which means really I should be starting to get into some shorts then again, I know very well my boss will complain if I rock up in shorts to work because they reckon I'd get ill from that. I mean, I know I can't rock up barefoot at work because I did sign the thing saying, oh yeah, I got the safety intro. Just people being people in this city. Surprise. That's why someone is tooting the horn. I don't know if you could hear that. Um, I did sign a safety intro thing and I do have to wear minimum S1 safety shoes which means minimum plastic or carbon toe caps. So I do, I can't do barefoot. Ah. Uh, the day in limbo really helped like calm one's tits. Like my feels like blood pressure <laughs> is significantly lower. Obviously, I did smoke a lot less, so that would be my objective measurable blood pressure is lower. But it's also just a day to think and not do much. And only the minimum thinking, no intentional thinking, which is nice. I have considered planning on doing a holiday like a couple of weeks Wednesday for another day in just limbo. And or organising some official shit um i still need to apply for my passport because my document ran out so the only thing i got this time is an id card and i do want to open up the gates to the rest of the world with international travel as i have not yet flown commercially i'm kind of concerned about security saying something they don't mean or me saying something and them interpreting something into it that's obviously my position they'd say oh, he said something bad um, which likely would only happen if they got up on the wrong foot that day but that is a risk so that's my one threat with uh, flying commercially so that's something I'll have to figure out mm. another thing I should do which I want to do on a working day most likely I could navigate that around work but I really don't want to is the idea of getting a couple of new tyres for the car. It's going to set me back an arm and a leg, but not too long ago, one of them had a small puncture. Um, and the treads on that are kind of muffed, like un unevenly worn to the point where I don't feel safe going high speeds with it or long distance, really. And guess I might as well get some new tyres in that case, because there's no point in getting one. Um, the one tyre that's still worn evenly, I'd, I'd then use a spare, because the spare should now be too old to be any good. So I'll keep one of the tyres as a spare, and use a spare wheel instead. Because it is a full-size wheel, after all. That's a luxury these days. Many people don't have any spares. I'm really looking forward to sitting down and having some tea.
just more and more in biz. Haven't had tea this month full stop and month's almost over. And last month I maybe had one or two teas. Uh, really is a reflection time, much as this here is. Drinking tea serves the same purpose in a different way. Um, it don't do exactly the same, but it go the same direction. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having some tea. Um, early in the week, I don't think I've mentioned this before, though I've sat down a few times since. My current boss sat, we're sitting outside and I joined them, because smoke break. Um, and after a bit of silence, which they don't get much from me, they asked me, oh, what's your plan for after studies and when are you done? And I did tell them, no, oh, I'll, I'll be looking for employment, uh, I'm not seeking freelance work um, and that will be later this year and he said oh, before we go anywhere else uh, give us a shout if perhaps we'll need someone and come to think of it maybe because I'm autistic who knows but um, I like the idea of a familiar environment I've been there two and a half months at this time I will have been there more than four months by the time I go back to uni Which means, I know the red flags. I'm not saying there ain't none, but I know what they are. And other places, I don't know what the red flags are, so I am very heavily leaning toward that. Uh, assuming they do have an offer for me when the time come, I'll probably take them up on it. Just because, I mean, I'm pretty sure Considering the fact I have very little practical experience, anyone looking for someone to take would take me. Um, and that's surprising because it's like some value of self-esteem, which I don't expect from myself. Uh, haven't had in the past, so that's improvement on the self-esteem front. A couple of chewing gums, might as well. Yeah, it's some advance on the self-esteem front, but in the end of the day, that's a result of me being happy to do a job well, no matter the job. As long as I'm doing it, I want to do it as well as it possibly could be done, at least by me. Perhaps as well as it could possibly be done full stop. Just because, why not? If don't want to deprive the world of the op option of someone doing it better. So if I do something, I might as well do it right. Yeah, I guess that's a funny concept. But I'm starting to think, um, which might be overcoming depression somehow. Might very well not be as well. Um, there's more and more people on this earth that are doing a good job. Like I used to think it's a rare sight to see someone do a good job. But with work, we have no clients where we dread, well, where I dread, I can't speak for others, them coming. Like, I look forward to each and every one of the faces I know. Mm. And names I know. Ones I don't know, I don't have much to look forward to or against. But usually I end up looking forward to them once I've known them. Which is crazy. Like, no negative impact whatsoever. Might just be this trade, but I suspect it's many trades. And past me, I've just experienced too many bad apples. And that's spoiled my view of the world. And we now try to go into interactions without thinking negatively of anyone. But 
sometimes it is rather hard. I mean, for example, with my legal disability, fighting for getting more legal disability, um, I have a lawyer. I went there once, gave them the stuff that they were going to be on holiday next week. This was a month ago, more than actually. I really ought to reach out to them, but I really shouldn't have to reach out to them, to my understanding, because they're being paid after all, and I'm not. Um, then again, it is in my own interest to reach out to them, because I'd like to know how much disability I got. <laughs> um, is sound way more comical in German than it do in English? Because in German I can say, ich bin jetzt offiziell behindert. Which is also used as insult, but with the context of officially, it should be very clear to everyone it's not an insult, but it still have that side taste, that's that aftertaste in the mouth, which is just playing on insults, uh, because why not, you know? It's fun with language. I mean, I like fun with flags, but fun with language is nice as well, you know? Like... Pretty solid. I like having fun with language. Another funny thing about saying I've been thinking about just now the bad apple spoils a bunch. This is actually based in reality, at least the literal version of it. Which is crazy if you think of it, but I'm really thinking about the figurative version, not the literal surprise. Mm. I am figuratively trying to detect bad apples earlier in my getting to know people and not continue knowing them. Which is a hard one because I try and not pass judgment. Um, Kind of contradictory. Then again, it do make sense on some level because I had plenty of bad experiences with other humans in the past and would like to reduce the amount of those experiences in the future. Which is precisely why not having people like that in one's life is beneficial, I guess. Hmm. That was a vehicle speeding by to the point where it shook the car with approximately 70 kilometers an hour. The legal speed limit here is 60, uh, 30 kilometers an hour, not 60. Which means they were well to lose your license for a couple of months territory. Which is impressive. Like so many people don't give a shit. So many bad apples. <laughs> ah. Obviously, one's driving doesn't speak for the rest of their personality, but I hope I don't know anyone who'd do 17 or 30. And I believe I do not. Which is quite nice of a feeling, being able to say that. Uh, anyway, I hope you don't have any bad apples in your life. Stay safe. Cheerio.